Do you believe officially or unofficially there was some type of police involvement in the orchestration and assassination of your son, Tupac Shakur? Involved in, in what? His, the orchestration of his assassination. Might, no doubt. Yeah, that's the one answer question. That's the one word answer, yes. You can go to all the details of what I believe. Doesn't really matter. It's still yes, no doubt. On many facets, LAPD, Vegas, and the government. You can't do that unless you have that. Not doing the Mike Tyson fight in Vegas. There's gridlock through the whole town. No one Cadillac's going to get out of town undetected unless you pay. But that's neither here nor there. Are you satisfied with the Las Vegas Police Department's investigation and patience and finally making the arrest in the murder of your son, Tupac Shakur? No. They were told to do that. That's easy. And how hard is it to arrest somebody when you see him on TV saying, I passed the guy a gun? What, one day a detective in, in, in his cubicle said, you know, he just broke the law, we could arrest him. I mean, let's be honest, it's, it's, it's the silliest, trivial looking shit I've ever seen. I don't think it had nothing to do with it, except uh, being a puppet for them. That's what I think. So the press conference that they had, uh, you watched that, right? Yeah, I don't watch that shit. My, my wife told me about it. But what what, they, what they gonna say? That Keefe D had the we we raided, raided his house. That he killed the guy. Can't believe neither one of them. So what are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? If there was one thing that you wish your son Tupac Shakur should or shouldn't have done on September seventh, nineteen ninety six, what would that be? Not to go to Las Vegas. Should never went to Las Vegas, and he damn sure shouldn't initiate the fight. Why would the record director of the biggest company in black industry allow his star, his number one money maker? You would have tackled him ten yards out once you saw where he was running to. Y'all all follow. You seen the tape? They all following him around. He's just clowning and acting up a fool and shit. Ain't paying attention to none of the environment. And somebody come whisper in his ear. Why didn't the person whisper in the Shiv Knight's ear? Trey, whatever his name was. Unless you wanted this individual to go over and initiate some fetch with him. Told him the guy with the chain who stole this over there. My son being gullible, he is fired up, happy, just off. Can Mike Tyson fight? Feel like fighting. And then here come these clowns behind him, doing the same shit he just said. So one of them off is grabbing his ass. I said, that's enough. And dragging his ass out of that fucking lobby. So it was a setup. It was a setup, bro. Setup, setup, setup.